Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Aniruddha. Call sign is Victor Uniform Number Three Foxtrot Mike Lima. In this video, we are going to talk about the digital SWR watt meter that I bought recently. It is called as the Lunaris G6, and it is made by a company called Cedar Labs here in India. We will talk about the build quality of uh, this instrument. We will look at the technical specifications, and we'll also see this in action. So stay tuned. So this is the front face of the equipment. You can see a big screen in front. There are four buttons on the right. One is the menu, the up down key and the band selector. You can also see LED indicators which show the band which is selected using the band button. There is on off switch. And on the left hand side, there is a port for HF sampler, which we'll talk about in a minute. The build quality is excellent. Uh, the enclosure is very well and everything goes together very well. So that's the band button, the up down key and the menu key on top. The holes that you see on uh, the top of the power button are the holes provided for the buzzer. So this has got a feature which uh, uh, gives a buzzer if the reflected wattage is more than what you have set in the menu. We'll see that in action. A very good looking piece of equipment here. This is the back side. On the left hand side, you can see the antenna and the TX for VHF and UHF. And on the right hand side, you can see the TX and antenna for the HF. This uh, equipment runs on 13.8 volt DC. I do not know what that RCA jack is for, RCA input is for. Uh, maybe it is for some future development. So next we'll see the technical specifications of this equipment. So this is the website of CEDA Labs. It's called cedalabs.com. I will put the link in the description below. If you go to the ham radio section of it, you can see there are three products available. And this one is what we are reviewing right now, Lunaris G6. This is a 200 watt version of SWR and power meter. They also have a two kilowatt version. So if you go into the product data sheet, we can see the technical specifications of this product. Here it is rated at 200 watts. The frequency range is 1.6 to 60 megahertz and 140 to 525 megahertz. Yeah, you can see a big, nice display on it. It is said that it is calibrated with Rode and Schwarz signal generator. The calibration points are at 14 megahertz, so 20 meter band, 50 megahertz, so around six meters. 145 in VHF and 435 in UHF. So these are the calibration points. The power range, uh, like we saw before, is between two, uh, between zero and 200 watts. 10 milliwatt is the minimum display. The accuracy is plus or minus 6%. Now the minimum power that needs to enter into it to measure correctly is one watts. Minimum power for SWR reading is one watt. Reflected power alarm. So it is user programmable. So what you need to do is go into the menu. We'll see that and you can set the wattage of reflected power, which when crossed, this equipment will give you a buzzer. It will indicate you with a, with a sound. OLED text display. Yeah, so the amber OLED uh, bright display for easy reading. It has got a nice screen and it it is very clear for viewing, very nice display. It says it displays forward and reflected wattages and VSWR, of course. So band switch can select the HF and VHF and UHF. Uh, and there is a LED bar graph, uh, which shows uh, which band is selected. And uh, when it is displaying the forward and the reflected power and the SWR, there is an option to select either a bar graph or the actual value. I will see that in a minute. And RF sampler can be fed to oscilloscope 
or spectrum analyzer. So we saw this particular port over here. And so it is basically RF sampler and it works on HF bands. Nowadays, modern SDRs utilize this signal as a feedback to correct its output and make them distortion free uh, in terms of gain and phase. That makes the, the output very clean, efficient and good sounding over the air. I'm not an expert of this, but I will, I will give a link in the description and you can, you can check this, how it does that. So I've never seen a power meter or SW meter giving out RF sample, uh, but it will be very useful, especially in the modern SDR radios. So you can have a look at this particular article and you will come to know how that can be used. So it's called pure signal linearization. So it has got facility to give that signal as a feedback to modern SDR radios. And of course, rare panel, uh, we have seen the SO239s, uh, power supply input. And uh, like I said, I don't know what the RCA is for and it's not mentioned here as well. The contact details are given here. I highly recommend that you first call this number before you book this equipment. So let's see uh, this particular meter in action. For demonstration purpose, I have connected it to my ICOM 2300H. This is the VHF base station. So for this demonstration, we are going to use a VHF. And for that, I have connected the TX and the antenna at the backside of uh, this meter at the VHF UHF ports. And now we are going to switch this thing on using this power switch. And here you can see the power indicator on the top. And right now it shows that HF has been selected. So if I press this band, it shifts to VHF and then to UHF and then to 1.2 gigahertz and then to 2.4 gigahertz. So right now we want it to be on VHF. So we will select that. Now you must have observed that there is nothing seen on the screen and there are two ways to get this out of the sleep mode that it is right now in. So one is if you press the menu button, it will come out of the sleep mode. Or if you pass some RF through this meter and that RF has to be a minimum of one watt and above to get it out of the sleep mode. So let's just do that by pressing this button. And here you can see it is out of the sleep mode and it is showing the SWR in terms of value and the forward power as a value in watts. So now, now there are two lines, the upper line, which shows SWR in the value and the second line, which shows the forward power in value in watts. So you can change both these lines. So the upper arrow will change the upper line and the lower arrow will change the lower line. So if I press the upper arrow once, it shows forward power in value in watts. If I press it again, it shows SWR in bar graph. If I press it again, it shows forward power in bar graph. If I press it one more time, it shows the name of uh, the company and then back to where we started, that is the SWR in the value. Similarly, the second line, you can 
change by pressing the lower arrow button. So if I press it once, it shows the reflected power or the reverse power in values in watts and then in bar graph, then it shows the forward power in bar graph. Then it shows the supply. It is 13.5 at the moment and the name of the lab. So you can select any combination that you want. Right now we have selected SWR in actual value and the forward power in actual value as well. Now, uh, if you press the menu button, here you can select the intensity of the backlight. If you press it one more time, here you can see the reverse power alarm. So right now it is kept at one watt. So what this means is that if the reflected power or the reverse power increases beyond one watt that is selected here, it will give an alarm. And the last setting is the time to auto off. If you do not use uh, this equipment for 120 seconds, it's going to auto shut it off, which means that it will go to the sleep mode unless you put some RF through it again or press some buttons. So uh, let's go and, and put some RF through it. So right now uh, my 2300H is at low power and I'm using a ground plane antenna right now, which is very well tuned uh, on the VHF. So let's go and uh, put some RF through it. This is Victor Uniform number three, Foxtrot Mike Lima testing. So here you can see it was 4.2 watts on the low setting and SWR was quite good. Victor Uniform number three, Foxtrot Mike Lima testing, 1.01. It's a, it's a nice antenna, well tuned on VHF. Uh, let me now press the power button on the 2300H and now I've increased the power. Let's see how it shows. It should show around 8 to 10 watts. This is Victor Uniform number 3 Foxtrot Mike Lima testing. So it shows around 9 watts and uh, the SWR was still good. Victor Uniform number 3 Foxtrot Mike Lima testing. Okay, let me increase the power. And now it should go to about 25 watts. This is a Victor Uniform number three, Foxtrot Mike Lima testing. And now let me again increase the power. Let's make it full power. And just for fun, let us change this to uh, bars, bar graphs. Okay. This is a Victor Uniform number three, Foxtrot Mike Lima testing. So here each dot represents a certain power and a certain SWR. And with this equipment, uh, the the manual has been given and it tells you what it means. Uh, a single dot means what power and a single dot means what SWR. So it's mentioned in uh, the manual. But I feel that this is better because it gives you the reading directly. This is Victor Uniform number three, Foxtrot Michael Lima testing. So that's the full power, 67 watts coming out of 2300H. So that's it really. This is what Lunaris G6 is all about. Rated at 200 watts, nice display, well built, and uh, looks accurate enough uh, for us to use on ham bands. It has got, got some very nice features. Like I told earlier, you can set the reflected power limit and it will give you an alarm if it crosses that. It has got this HF sampler, which would be useful for modern SDRs. So this is Victor Uniform number three, Foxtrot Mike Lima signing off. 
I hope you like this video and I wish you could subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Until next time, 73s to everyone.